Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to the final session of the second annual Health and Longevity Global Innovation Summit. Uh, many of you know uh, that I'm Victor Zhao, the president of the U.S. National Academy of Medicine. But for anyone just turning into this session, hello and uh, welcome. So we've had a jam-packed program of many inspiring sessions with experts and role models, and we've gotten a closer look at many of the Catalyst Awardees' innovative projects. They have such great potential. We're excited to see how much progress has been made. We look forward to hearing a lot more throughout the year. And of course, at next year's summit, welcome all of you back. I'd like to take this opportunity to premiere a brief video that we created to promote this healthy longevity global competition. The, the stars are a number of our awardees, Catalyst awardees around the world. So thank you for those who submitted videos to my team this summer. We truly appreciate it. Now, of course, this video consists of a small subset of our now over 400 innovators and dozens of, from dozens of countries worldwide. But hopefully this gives you and members of the public who may not yet have a connection to the competition, a flavor of the unique prize program. So let's watch the video. Hola. Namaskar. Thank you. Greetings from Singapore. From China. Greetings from Taipei, Taiwan. From Valencia, in Spain. From Hong Kong. From Santiago de Chile. We are healthcare workers, scientists, researchers, physicists, social scientists, and industry professionals. All working to improve health for people at all stages of life. The U.S. National Academy of Medicine and its global partners are catalyzing breakthrough research and entrepreneurship towards its attainable goal. Together across disciplines, sectors, and geographic borders, we are mobilizing to generate transformative and escalator innovations that will lead to breakthroughs in healthy longevity while advancing health equity. I'm proud to be part of NAMS Healthy Longevity Global Competition and the catalyze cross-sector innovation and collaboration around the world. Supporting lives filled with good health, well-being, purpose, and dignity are within reach. And the healthy longevity global competition is propelling us forward. Now is the time to accelerate our efforts in securing a healthier future for all. Wow, what a great display of some of our international awardees and of course supported by our global collaborators around the world. You know, to those featured in the video and many awardees that are part of this growing movement, we are very thankful for you all, the work that you're doing and your continued engagement with this initiative. So as we wrap up, I want to thank you for joining throughout the summit. If you miss any of the sessions or would like to revisit them, we'll be posting recordings on the NAM website shortly after this event. Certainly, we look forward to continue engaging with each one of you following the summit. We are having a growing network of entrepreneurs, innovators, uh, scientists, and we're hoping to continue to engage all of you. I certainly hope that you found the summit stimulating, inspiring, and meaningful to each one of you. Uh, we certainly have been impressed by the innovation and important work that many of you showcase, and are very excited to see the kind of impact that you can make going forward. Okay, so let me show the next slide. As many of you know, this session marks the announcement of the 2022 Health Longevity Catalyst Awardees around the world. I'll speak to this in a few minutes, but before I do so, I'd like to provide a very brief background for anyone who's new to this competition and perhaps just tuning in today for the first time. First, as you know, 
The global competition is a multi-year innovation prize program. Our goal is to catalyze innovative ideas, increase entrepreneurism in the field of health longevity. And certainly the NAM and a set of global partners seek bold, novel ideas that can change or transform the field of health longevity. The competition by now, I hope you know, is open to applicants and ideas from all disciplines and sectors and innovators in over 50 countries and territories, uh, which are covered by our sponsors, and they've been eligible to apply. Today marks the culmination of the third annual cycle of Health Longevity Catalyst Awards, which is in fact the bottom of that pyramid, during which NAM and its 10 global collaborators have issued for early stage projects. You also hear early today from one of the Accelerator competition sponsors, Johnson Johnson Innovation, whereby they announced this year's nine quick fire challenge awardees. That's part of the Acceleration Award. And those were previous Catalyst awardees who continue to advance the science and able to demonstrate proof of concept to secure additional following funding. So congratulations to those awardees. All in all, we have jump-started this worldwide movement, planting early seeds that will hopefully yield a major breakthrough and breakthroughs in health longevity. Can I have the next slide, please? So this year, we continue to demonstrate uh, substantial interest, having received nearly 1,200 applications worldwide, ensuring that these award competitions remain very competitive process. Thank you to everyone who applied. And I'm very pleased to announce that NAM and its global com collaborators have issued a total of 130 Catalyst Awardees this year, which brings our cumulative total to 429 Catalyst Awards over three years. That's really quite amazing. Here you can see the breakdown of number of awards by collaborating this year. You can see in Chinese Academy of Medical Sciences, they've been able to fund 30 awards. US National Academy of Medicine, 25. UK Research Innovation, 19. EIT Health of the European Union, 17. Ministry of Health and NRF of Singapore, 12. Research Council, Hong Kong Special Administration Region, China, 10. Academia Seneca, 8. The National Agency for Research Development of Chile, six, and the National Agency for Research, Medical Research Development of Japan, three. Total, we gave out $6.5 million award this year. And if you look at the whole three years, 21.5 million. So we hope we've capitalized a lot of good ideas to move things forward. And we're very proud of this. So congratulations to 2022 Award Catalyst Awardees. Uh, you know who you are. I don't have time to go through all of them, but I want to welcome you to our growing network of innovators who make a difference in their work. And now all the information of 130 awardees available on the Global Competition website. It's healthylongevitychallenge.org. There you can read about the projects and see the pictures award winning teams. But I do want us to take a minute to give them an applause. Congratulations, really well done. Next slide. Now I'd like to share some exciting news regarding the global competition. As you all remember, the original design of the competition was that we and the collaborator would demonstrate three uh, annual award cycles. So therefore 2022 being the last. However, thanks to all of you who've shown great innovation and the importance of this field, submitting great ideas and conduct promising work. You know, the sponsors are so excited seeing the results of all this that I'm happy to say to you that all the collaborators will be together extending this phase for another three years. Isn't that exciting? 
So it runs through 2025. We want to keep this momentum going. And we want to continue to bring more people in. So I'm just so excited that three years passed very quickly, but we got three more years. And of course, we're getting um, more people and more accepted award, and certainly the grand prize. You know, we are open to innovators from more than this 50 countries, but we thank our partners who have meant so much. They truly, we're truly pleased they continue to work with us on this great initiative that's really important for the 21st century. Next slide. So the next catalyst cycle begins in such a, just a few months. Please, please stay tuned to the kickoff of the 2023 catalyst cycle. We'll be sure sharing more information later in the year. And given this extension, guess what? We are soon looking to further expand our footprint geographically and engage other countries, including in discussion and regions with low and middle income countries in places like Africa, Middle East, and others. We're also seeking additional accelerator phase sponsors we able to assist in supporting selective capital's awardees in the project development. We're communi communicating news on this front so that you all can take advantage of any new opportunities that's coming your way for the future. Uh, for information on this, uh, again, go to our website. It's uh, www.healthylongevitychallenge.org and send up, sign up for our updates. We plan to launch next year's cycle uh, this winter and follow the same timeline and application windows opening in early 2023. So please apply and encourage your colleagues to do as well. Next slide. Before I end, I'd like to express my sincere thanks to the sponsor of the summit, Johnson Johnson Innovation and Next. 50 initiative. Your support enable us to host this amazing event, honoring our campus awardees and building our network of innovators that helping us grow this movement to extend human health span. Thank you as well to all our competition sponsors, our collaborators who've dedicated resources, staff, and much effort to run the respective Catalyst Award competition. And thank you for extending this for three more years. And thank you for sponsors of NAM US-based competition. They are, as you heard, National Institute of Aging in the US, the Bayer Echo Foundation, Johnson Johnson Innovation, Next 50 Initiative, and Yoon Family Foundation. Your generosity has enabled NAM to support innovation in US that can yield breakthroughs in the future. And last but not the least, you, all the participants and viewers who have engaged throughout the last two days, you have made this summit a great success. Please note that the summer session will be made available, as I said, next few weeks, those recordings. So if you miss anything, you can catch up with them. And I encourage you to explore our website to read about amazing projects we support this year. Thank you again to all the winners. And really, you know, I think this would not have happened without the great team of Michelle Topless and everybody else who's working night and day, not only enabling this whole initiative to be competitive, but this summit, I know they're all together in one room, moving things forward. So I want to thank all of you and a congratulations again to all the winners and thank you to the team. Again, we'll see you next year. Thank you.